about 10 years ago now that we started making a series called Walking with Dinosaurs. Um, the idea was to take Jurassic Park style graphics and put them into a television show. And it had been extraordinarily successful and a lot of people had grown to understand and imagine dinosaurs through those programs. But the proposal here in this arena spectacle was that the animals would get up and walk. They would move around and the audience would believe that they're fighting and doing all the other stuff in front of them. Because at its core, the arena spectacle has to do what the series did, and that is to make people imagine they're looking at real animals. There isn't a kid on Earth, I don't think, that isn't interested in dinosaurs. They're absolutely dumbstruck with how amazing it is to see a dinosaur. They're so lifelike, they take on a personality of their own. They roared, they screamed, and they laughed, and uh, it's just been overwhelming. The scale of the show is enormous in more ways than one. The, the dinosaurs themselves are all life-size, and a life-size brachiosaur is 35 foot tall. Um, a life-size T-Rex is, is 18 foot at the shoulder. There's nothing like it in terms of its combination of storytelling, um, technology, puppetry, and, uh, and pure entertainment, combined, of course, with, with, with education. It both t terrified me and excited me at the same time to, to create 16 life-size dinosaurs to, uh, to walk independently around a stage. We have very clever engineering to make these things nimble and, and move efficiently around the stage. We have radio control systems um, and to drive it all, of course, we have uh, very clever performers. Audiences can expect to see 170 million years of dinosaur history in about 100 minutes, basically. So as you can imagine, it's a pretty uh, jam-packed evening in the theatre. It's very important to make sure that people understand that it's a theatrical experience. It's been considered and conceived as a theatrical experience. No matter where we go, you'll always uh, see an audience react the same way, whether it be Adelaide in Australia, or whether it be Saskatoon in Canada or here in Madison Square Garden, the audiences respond unanimously, universally. They just believe that they're real and they love the show. So that's been, that's been one of the biggest boosts for all of us. It's part spectacular, part musical, uh, part documentary. In the end, it's, uh, I think it's just pure entertainment.